Hey, it's Ryan with BRS TV. It's time to get answers to the great reef tank salt debate. This time, real answers to real questions and it gets to the heart of identifying the best salts out there. Starting with, do they really make as much as they say? The answer is absolutely no. So if that's the case, are the lowest cost options really cheaper? More important, experiments that demonstrate how long you can store salt water are some better than others in that case? And the answer is yes. So how long can you mix salt water before use? Do you really need to heat it or add flow during mixing or storage? Is stratification real during transport? Supportive ICP reports to answer that for major, minor, and trace elements. Are the advertised levels accurate? What is that brown gunk that builds up in our storage containers? Again, do all the answers here apply to all the salts or do some perform better than others? The answers to cost, accuracy, production quality, mixing and storage requirements, raw materials and related impurities, virtually everything needed to make an informed decision and in how to get the right tool for the right job, as well as expectations and guidance and how to use it for peak performance. If you have a reef tank, the salt series is the basis of the most informed and advanced approaches to the foundation of a thriving reef tank a simple, stable source of seawater. Check out this playlist here or pin to the top of the comments for all the answers to those questions as well as what the community believes is the best approach to salt for them.